guys, okay, so I'm going to be doing this look for you today and it is a very dramatic uh, pinup look. Everything's matte and flawless and perfection. Uh, my first pinup tutorial that I did was actually my first video, um, but unfortunately I didn't do it from start to finish as in I didn't show the foundation, I didn't really, it wasn't as thorough as I'd like it to be. Uh, so this one I show how to get perfect skin and just everything, so yeah. Uh, this is a great look if you want to wear it every day, or you can wear it to a night out, or you could also be a pinup girl for Halloween. I hope that this is fun for you to watch, guys, and you are well and happy wherever you are. Alright, hi guys! Okay, so obviously with a pinup look, you're going to want a absolutely flawless matte face. So what I've done is I've cleansed my skin, I've put on moisturizer, and also primer. I just used this by Clarins, I have a sample of it. It's the Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch uh, Primer. And it looks exactly like, if you can see, and it feels exactly like the L'Oreal one that I did a review on the Studio something or other, Studio Secrets. Yeah, that's the one. Um, and I've primed my eyes with a uh, primer potion and also put some pop ointment on my lips, which I will do again now because it's kind of worn off. Pretty much just do a little bit of whatever your favorite lip product is to let it sit into your skin because we're going to be doing a red lip and I'm going to be using uh, Max Russian Red which is really matte, unforgiving lipstick so you want to make sure your lips are well prepared for that. Okay, so basically with any pinup look you want a pale, uh, flawless complexion. So, so what I'm going to be using is my Revlon Color Stay and the color is uh, 110 Ivory. And also just adding a little bit of my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet, which I don't know what colour it is. It's like one of the really light ones, so it's pretty much almost white. Um, I normally add this, I don't wear this by itself because it is a bit too pale for me. I normally do add it to other foundations if they're a little bit darker. So I'm going to shake them both up. Shake, shake, shake. Now as you can tell my skin is far from flawless. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is just a little bit of Studio Finish Concealer and my colour is NW15. I'm going to be patting around on some of the blemishes that I have. They're not active blemishes, they're just um, sort of pigmentation left over from like a healing blemish just with my finger. I always get it around my like sort of cheek jawline area, it's always fun. Uh, there's a lot of people that say do not apply concealer before foundation um, because you know you're gonna wipe it off pretty much uh, but I always actually get a better result but this is just something that I do so if you like buffing away furiously into your skin uh, yes it probably will wipe off your concealer so just think about what products you use and whatever works for you really Pretty good. Around the nose. My nose is always red. Which is awesome. <laughs> so pretty much I'm just packing it down on the areas that I have my problem so sort of dark pigmentation and healing blemishes and stuff like that all right so I've shaken I've shaken up my foundations so I'm gonna pour it on the back of my hand and I am you know this color is actually like perfect for my skin tone but I am making it a little bit lighter because it's pin up and I want it to be absolutely flawless. So I'm just taking a flat foundation brush and mixing those two shades together. So what I normally do with my Revlon uh, Color Stay is put it on with a foundation brush flat one and then blend it in quickly and just do little sections at a time because this stuff does set. So yes. It's 
just slightly buffing it in. Alright, so now I've got my first layer on, I'm just going to touch it up with another layer where I want some extra coverage. Okay, so now that you've got that done, I'm going to go over with some concealer. I've got my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Concealer and the shade is Fair light zero to one that's the one and I'm going to be taking this under my eyes so I'm just going to be using my ring finger and dabbing it on excuse the mess in the background I'm just trying to get some better lighting going on here for you uh, so yeah that's all not good uh, pretty much so I prime my eyes and now I'm going to be laying down a base eyeshadow which I'm just going to be using Brulee by MAC which is just a pretty much light skin tone, well my skin tone type of colour. I'm just going to be playing with my favourite fluffy brush. Alright, so I'm going to do my brows just because I want to get them out of the way before I do my eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to be using my Rimmel uh, brow pencil. All details of every product that I use will be in the down bar for you guys if you're wondering. As you can see, I have like a beauty spot thing here, so I'm just going to draw back in because whenever I do really thick foundation, it covers it up. Um, and for this looks, I think it looks good. So. Yeah, skip this step if you don't want to. Uh, so I'm just going to be drawing my brows. And then just to set them, I'm going to be using my MAC uh, brow set, which I always use. On a really, really, really tiny brush, if you can see, tiny, tiny, and my concealer. I'm going to be drawing underneath my eyebrow. I'm just blending out with my finger. As you can see, it sort of just makes them pop a little bit more, and yeah. So I'm going to set that again with a little bit of the brulee powder. Alright, so when you're at this point, uh, you're going to want to contour your eyes just a little bit. I'm going to be taking my Naked palette and the naked color which is third one right there and I'm just going to be taking it on a fluffy brush I will use my 217 tap off any extra and and to get make sure you get the right shading look at the mirror and then sort of Place that where your crease is, and that's where you put it. Okay, now for the fun part or tricky part, whichever one, whichever way you want to look at it, I am going to be doing the eyeliner. Uh, I'm taking an angle brush like this, and I'm using my Mac uh, gel liner in black track any preference that you like like a liquid liner or another brand of gel eyeliner it doesn't really matter it's just going to be matte black what you have to do now is look down into your mirror so i've got one of these mirrors here 
and I'm going to tilt it back so I can look right down into it. You can never get it perfectly even so don't drive yourself nuts because you do have different eye shapes. It's different on each side so <laughs> you have a perfectly symmetrical face. Just yeah, it, it will look pretty, don't worry. So that's what you should be left with at this point. Not so bad. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is tell my eyelashes and put some mascara on and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the eyes sort of done. Um, with the gel liner, I can never fully get it like in. You can see the lash line, how it's still sort of skin color. So what I do is I grab my MAC uh, liquid gel, liquid gel, liquid eyeliner and it's a really stiff felt tip, just like that. And then I go in and just sort of fill it out. Because as you can see with the eyes, I have not put any mascara on the bottom lashes, I just want uh, the top lashes to be the main focus. So what I will be doing now is putting some false eyelashes on. I got these, I don't remember where. Oh, I got these a while ago. Uh, I have two pairs of them now, so they're really, really thick. You can see, and they're made out of human hair, which is interesting. Alright, so I'm going to be using my Duo uh, lash, lash Adhesive Stuff. While I'm waiting for the eyelash to dry, eyelash glue to dry, I'm just going to be using my Barry M waterproof eyeliner, pencil, and tight lining. So, yeah, pretty much you just want that to be as black as black can be on top. Then with your eyelashes, you're going to look down into your mirror, just like you did with the eyeliner. Place it down. Let that sit. Okay, and then just to blend those uh, natural lashes and the false lashes together, I'm just going to be taking a bit of my mascara. I use the Maybelline the Falsies. And then lightly just pushing them together. Okay, so this is what you have at the moment. Uh, next, I'm going to set my foundation before I do my lips. I'm going to be using my Clinique uh, Invisible Matte. And that's the one. And I'm just going to be taking it on a stippling brush. I normally have to powder anyway, um, but you really should probably, if you don't have a really matte foundation, definitely look into powdering because it's all about the matte look for the 50s, as they didn't really have um, any sort of dewy finished foundations back then. And now we have a perfectly matte face. I'm going to take a little bit of a pink cheek color. I'm just using my Well Dressed by MAC. And on this brush here, which is from um, the, 
the body shop. That's one. And whatever lip product you put on to begin with would have settled in by now. So I'm going to line my lips and I'm going to be using the Revlon uh, Timeliner. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be using the Revlon Timeliner for lips in real red. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. So now that you have your outline on and you filled it in with the lip liner, I'm just going to be taking my uh, Max Russian Red and just uh, from the tube you can apply it with a lipstick. Uh, you can apply it with a lip brush if you want it to last a lot longer. Uh, I'm not going out in this makeup, so I'm just going to be applying it with from the tube. Putting that with the tissue and apply again. So here's the finished look, guys. I hope this is fun for you to watch and helpful. That's what it looks like. And uh, you can complete it by doing just some victory rolls and uh, in your hair if you have long enough hair to do with them. You can do it in short hair, just remember to prep your hair um, by teasing it and probably putting it in hot rolls as well if you want to. Uh, yeah, so I hope this is fun for you to watch and have a lovely day guys. Bye!